is meditation and why is it so important for spiritual development? In this video we talk about different methods of meditation and stick around to the end for interesting hints and tips. Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insights, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. Meditation is usually practiced by those who wish to relax or de-stress. It's like a little holiday for your brain and can help your body relax too. It can bring a sense of peace and well-being and allows you to forget your worries and anxieties for a while. But there is much more to meditation, and when practiced regularly, the effects can be far reaching and go beyond personal health and well being. As with anything, moderation is key, and everyone has varying experiences to different degrees. One person might experience a life changing spiritual awakening, while another could feel depressed. It's important to monitor your progress, and keeping a meditation journal can be very useful. Completely clearing the mind is not essential. Indeed, it's such a difficult task for most people that it can become a sticking point. Many give up because they feel they've failed or they just can't meditate. It's much better to acknowledge intrusive thoughts and let them go, rather than try to fight them. Over time, the intrusive thoughts will become less and your mind learns to save these thoughts for appropriate moments. It is more productive to focus on the aim of the meditation. If you simply want to relax, then focus on relaxation. If you're looking to develop spiritual awareness, then focus on an aspect of that. Receptive meditation is useful for connection to the higher self, communication with guides and masters and those in spirit who may wish to communicate. However, the purpose of meditation is more far reaching. It's an excellent tool for training the mind and it's here that daily practice really pays off. Just 10 to 15 minutes a day of concentrating on your goals can trigger huge changes in your life. Whatever you focus on, you attract to you. With effort and discipline, you can attract whatever you require. The subconscious mind doesn't know you're making something up. It accepts whatever imagery is in your head as reality. When you come to performing a ritual or spell, having the mental power to stay focused will increase its effectiveness exponentially. Your mind is your own. No matter what's happening externally, it is your greatest point of power. If you train your mind to focus, you can achieve your goals and deal with any situation you might face. So there are much more far-reaching effects of meditation, which we will cover in further videos. For now, here are some tips that might help you meditate. You don't need to be sitting down to meditate. There is a technique called active meditation, which means you're able to meditate while walking, doing the dishes, or any other activity. We don't recommend this while driving or operating machinery though. This is one that I use very, very often. It will often be done when I'm doing a simple repetitive task, say housework or taking the dog for a walk. One uh, technique that I find particularly helpful is having a pen and paper handy while you meditate. With practice, you can stay focused while you write down any ideas, thoughts, impressions and inspiration that comes to you. If you prefer to draw, you can create pictures or imagery while remaining in that meditative state. This is one that I really enjoy. Meditation takes practice and just 10 minutes every other day or a few times a week to begin with is a good start. Practice being aware of any sounds that might disturb you and just let them go. The same applies to intrusive thoughts, acknowledge them and let them go. Eventually, you'll be able to focus no matter what is going on around you. Burning incense, particularly frankincense, myrrh, mugwort and damiana can help and also keep away negative energies, ensuring you are using a suitable incense burner away from anything flammable and children and pets. Let us know in the YouTube comments how you meditate and if you struggle with any aspect of it. We're making more videos on this topic and we can answer your questions. Links to our website and social media are below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.